let's start adding the letters and uh, texts so let's go to new folder let's call the text add the color and um, no need to add any um, tile mask or any other mask to your folder so let's add a fill layer to that folder oh it's gonna be everywhere yeah um so let's call this one not action buttons let's call them front button front buttons and add a black mask all right inside black mask let's add a fill layer all right and um yeah let's add mask to the text so add a black mask and for now let's find all the buttons right yeah that's easier back to uh, front buttons and fill layer let's call this one first of all let me go to um project not fabric clear your search and let me find concept yeah x y a b so let's start with x x and drag the x here needs to be projected in planner projection and no repeat grab that with the um, surface tool grab this middle part and put it in here all right scale it down real good now let's rotate it and position a little bit smaller Yeah, it's too big still. That might be good, but maybe a little bit bigger. See that from distance. Yeah, the previous one was big enough. So back to um, mask and fill layer. We call that X now. Select that, Control D, and that's gonna duplicate with all of projection and other stuff with it. So let's call this one Y. Grab. Y and put it here. Use gizmo to move it right there. Yep. Again, control D and that's gonna be our B. Grab your B and here. Duplicate again and A. Right back to material, and in here, let's go and drop the opacity or oh, drop the value for roughness to uh, 0 0.2.
you can add um, depth at any time so just select your material the base material that contains some mask and go to height push it in or just push it out in this case nothing so it's gonna be our action buttons right beside that we have our uh, options so um select that control d let's call this one um options all right we have our options right here grab it over here and move that up it's a little bit small so make it bigger Or maybe smaller. Yeah, a little bit smaller. Control D again. It's called this one. Quick access, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. And uh, let's find the quick access. We don't have quick access. And. I'm going to make that with whatever we have. So let's go to a starter asset and all files. Let's see what we have here. And let's find something called circle dots right here. Grab it. And let's grab this uh, projection as well. Put it over here. Oh, not secret dots. Yeah, and this is secret dots line. So let's go for secret dots. Doesn't have any options. And this one, number of two. And yeah, that's basically it. As you can see here. So let's make it a little bit bigger over here. Maybe scale down to have more space between them. And that's basically it. All right, let's go to the other side. Uh, let's duplicate the option because uh, we did change a scale for the um, quick access. Control D for the option. Put it above the uh, quick access and let's move that over here. Back to project assets. And this one would be would be view. That's right. Maybe a smaller. Change the name to view. Right. Again, duplicate and this one will be steam. Grab your steam text and scale up almost to fill the button. Right. Yeah. 
Now the upper buttons, those are um, L buttons, R buttons, and plus minus. So to do that, let's duplicate the uh, front buttons. It's called Mm -hmm. Maybe depth button that has depth, and uh, let's clear the mask. Also, I'll click on text mask and grab these buttons, include them into that folder. Right, starting from uh, minus. So let's go to the starter asset here inside alphas. Let's go and find text. Fortunately, we have minus, plus, and power right here. Add a field layer to your mask. Let's call that or add minus. Right, and grab the minus here. Projection change to planner. You know the drill by now, and so rotate and position it with the surface tool. Scale down. and no repeat all right and uh, maybe scale down a little bit more Right. For this one, we don't need to have any color and roughness, height, just keep the height and negatively. Let's call 0 0.5 down. Add it up. Uh, I mean to go minus 0 0.5, yeah. Or minus 1, yeah. Let's give it 1. Control D, duplicate that, change that to uh, plus. Grab the plus and move that to other button. One more time, throw D, and let's go for power. Let's move that over here. Change the input with power. And also rotate that towards the front, I believe. Let's see. No, that's right. That's right in place, maybe a little bit bigger. And uh, let's go for our project and add the buttons right here R, R1, and R2. So, it's for D, R1, where is it here, R1, 
move it over here and it's gonna be here but we need to change the depth color or maybe change it or just disable the depth calling to um, project all the way through let me see maybe over here all right ctrl d let's go for r2 and push that Yeah, so R1 needs to, yeah, they are not in front of each other, kind of right. Let me check that from here, yeah. But they need to follow the button. Um, edge so that's kind of that's right duplicate again and that would be R um, L1 and L2 so L one rotate that first goes over here change the input to L one duplicate and L two Let's go back, add these two buttons to the uh, folder. So select this two, four actually. Save the project and let's go for L4 and L5. And R4 and R5, so Control D, R4, let's call this one R5, and R. Four. 
back to perspective. Rotate the light a little bit. Let's save the project and uh, let's go to the render quickly. Um, we're not going to render the project right here, but uh, IRA is a decent renderer and we can judge based on that output. So let's go to the render F10. And let's go quickly inside display setting all the way down. Oh, not up, down, down here. Environment down and clear color, no ground. And yeah, that's decent. Let's go for back. Not bad, actually. Right, um, let's go to the next part and add these lines right here. Also, mm, add some dirt, dust, fingerprints, and other stuff. And call this one a day. Oh, I forget to add the um, hexagon pattern to the other side here. Thumbstick. So, that too. Right, see you next part.